Okay, hey cool. guys, helping out here, bringing you the second mission from the Norman campaign from Age of Empires 4. This time it's the Battle of York. Enjoy. The death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day 1066, William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. He began by stamping his mark on the landscape, building cathedrals and castles at strategic locations. Nothing like them had been seen in England before. They reminded the Anglo-Saxon population exactly who was in charge. Hectic lines. <laughs> but not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. I don't feel William bad that I'm killing my own people. Crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. In 1069, a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. York! Together the they approached stronghold. the Norman held York. A large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. The city and the castle fell to the rebels. That's a cool little fort. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. Be me William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, <coughs> how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? North to York. North of York, King William's army faced an uncertain march to York, fraught with resistance from those opposed to Norman rule. To capture a town, you must defeat all enemy forces within the Red Circle marker. This is fun, man. I'm sacked away. Actually, I don't know. You're like, most of us don't know if our if our ancestry. If, you, if you're in English, like, do you, trace your ancestry back to Sa to Saxon, or maybe I could be a Norman for all I know. You know. Well, was I involved in developing this game? Not at all. I think literally no one from the company here as a community was reached out to in the, for the development of this game. And I'm a little bit salty about that. But, um, yeah, anyway, here we go. A little more normal than Zach than they were, really. William the Conqueror marched north with his army of Normans determined to take back the rebel-held city of York. But in his path stood rebel towns that harboured William's northern enemies. He would take the towns back right, by Lloyd. force. Right. right, so we're just moving north, are we? Oh, we found a sheep. Attack! 
The Normans captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Okay, let's get our cavalry to scout around. Build four farms. Okay. What's it? So farm is. Hang on, shit's going over here. Oh fuck! There's a lot of random archers over there. Okay. Me? So Q E. There's some trees over here. Oh, look at all the cheap you found! Nice! Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. Capture Fulford. Okay, let's go guys, chop wood. Where's my population cap? Okay, we're 45 at the moment, okay. The sheepies. We're going around scouting. There's more side objectives around the map. Yeah, we're going to keep scouting around just to see. I think there's like a... Okay, it looks like there's only one way through here, so we probably want to build some defences on this side. So Q, E, front of the farm. Finishing houses. Four villages chopping wood. Okay, easy kill there. Okay, let's get you. Can you build some defenses over here? Outposts, yeah. And I say wall. Got a gate? Okay, I guess we do a wall like here to here, right? Then we've got a gate. Can I build there? Why not? It's gonna take this a bit easy. Why can't I build a gate there? I don't know, we'll just build that up and see how it goes. Um. Okay, let's get some barracks and stuff up. Um, I've got no mines. Got another. What oh, was a farm thing over here? Okay. Okay, dead end there. Okay, cool. Now can I build a gate? Okay, I can build a gate there now. Okay. Right. So we can't. Okay, we can build a barracks. Let's just get the barracks over here. Keep building more villages. 
Finite. Need 200 gold. We haven't got any gold, have we? Okay. Yeah, let's get you just keep scouting around. Getting the barracks up, nice. Okay, and then up there. That should be the last farm that we need to build extra. So we build a mill, yeah, we can build a mill like here, I guess. A mill there, and then shift The Norman the army was now well supplied by a town. But it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Reinforcements arrived. Hey, more army. That's cool. Free units. I won't complain about that. They're coming. All right, with this reinforcement, we should be ready to push in the next town, I think. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, I guess we'll build an outpost here as well. Okay, let's build a couple of barracks. Spam in a minute arms, okay. What's this here? The Normans <laughs> discovered an enemy outpost on the water. Ooh. It belonged to an ally of the northern rebels, the Danes. The Danes? The Danish King Svein II had Chavalo. sent his army to harass William's forces and prevent him from taking back the north. William had a choice. Bypass the encampment or destroy it. Okay. So it's an optional objective to destroy the encampment. I think what we'll do first is probably attack this town here, because that's where they're Alright. Alright. Here we go. Forward! I can't read really to kill the archers. Hey, we're in the town now, great. With the Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. Right, well, it's uh. Knowing he would face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Bolster the cavalry, yeah. Okay, we've got market now. Yeah, cool. Alright, we can now make some more civvies. Not great, this is like to shoot things, no need stone, do right? Okay. Like, can I remind mine that gold? Okay. Build that, then build that Let's over here. Right. Let's rebuild the fort. Fences? Random question, but what car do I have? Uh, I actually don't know. I, I don't remember the name. It's, it's some kind of Persia car. Okay, we're mining gold now, which is good. For our cavalry, I guess we gotta build a stable, right? Yeah. Gather food and gold to construct a landmark. Okay. okay. 
Mais Colonnes Parat, si. What? Ite Colonnes. Right. Oh, and there's some stone here as well. Brilliant. Okay. Right, where's my scout? You need to come and scout the, the other side of the base. And they're still mining going over here. Good, good, good. we still got plenty of, like... I'm just going to keep making more villages and shit, you know, over here as well. Right. Have a gate there, please. Hey, so we've got a nice little fort. It's quite cute, isn't it? With the, a wooden palisade around a base like this. It looks... Quite nice. Aesthetically, it pleases me very much so. How good is the game? Uh, well, I played some beta and stuff and I really enjoyed it. Um, playing the campaign at the moment. Destroy the game camp, we're going to do that next. Okay, so we've got enough food to level up. So we go to you. Two. Reduce archers, heal units. We haven't got any monks at the moment, so let's come and build an abbey of kings over here somewhere. Actually, you guys can stay here and just keep building. Right. Here they come! Having left the Dane threat unchecked, the Normans now faced a savage raid from the rebels' fearsome ally. Oh, okay. Repel the Danish raid, sure. William's army held back the Danes' attack, but they threatened to return unless William paid them in gold. Oh no, we're fucking them up. Can I save it? Yeah, we can save it. Let's go uh, save game here. I think we've got enough forces maybe to, to counter attack here. Go deal with these Danes. Escolto. Escolitamos. Uh, shot with Okay, that's what I love, actually. I'm gonna run away. I think, like, as we're ch we choke pointing them right here, we're doing quite well. So we'll keep doing that. Let's build that landmark, Abbey of Kings here. Death to the Danes! Some tasty gold there. Can I build a market over here actually? I can build a market next year. So I build a market like over here in the corner and then I can get some resources coming in. We're getting a lot of nice gear. You do that and then go there. 
In destroying the Dane outpost, William stripped the rebels of a crucial ally. Nice. We're not going to uh, give them any food or any gold. Oh, we're getting attacked now in the north ship. William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. Uh oh. Go, 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 they're attacking! They're attacking! We need reinforcements! Come on, people! Let's go! They're killing the houses! Get in there, boys! Reinforcements! Yes! Reinforcements, get in here quick! Chase them off! You have repelled the invaders! I can build cavalry now, good. Alright, cool. So these guys need to like, Abby so they can heal. So that down there. Nice little healing, good. We got our army again. Let's go north. Lots of houses, no! We must rebuild! So I got the Abbey King so we can heal our troops. We haven't got any monks at the moment, so. I've upgraded my men at arms and stuff as well. There we go. Scarab obey you. Quick Mondays. Barat Porveni. Get her see boys. Okay, we can build a gate there again. Go there. Yo, who's that? Big Dean! Oh, thank you for subscribing in tier 3, man! Holy shit, it's very kind of you. Very kind of you, man. Thank you very much. Subscribe for six plus years, but it doesn't work. Oh man. Thank you so much, dude. Very kind of you to subscribe for that long. Let's uh, just get these. I might just build another bar uh, another blacksmith here just to speed up the uh, upgrades here. Actually, right, let's come over here. Uh, got a couple more towers here and here just so they got the base defended a bit better. Uh, let's get a market. Just come over and build the market here, at the edge of the map. And then get it to come to this market over here. Get some gold income. Right, what's over here actually? It's, uh, I think there's another gold mine over here or something. There's another stone thing over there as well. Hey, Bora! Thank you very much for six months, man! Cheers, buddy! Yo, dude! That is so generous! Ten sub gifts, man! Holy moly! Thank you very much! Oh, dude! I deserve that! Thank you! Right, let's come over here. Let's get build ourselves a tower here and another... this thing. Right, I think we're just going to push it. There's some more cavalry here, yeah. Right, let's go. Right. Forward! Forward! <laughs> 
Oh, I can't build a caravan thing yet. That's a shame. I can't. I can't break these actually. Forward! Into the city! We have reached the city! The Norman army poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Destroy the keep! I'm hiding in the corner! Leave men alive! Something else that there's more stone. Look at that Keith, that's so cute! I've not seen that one before. Reinforce, let's go! Sure, our king is not getting wrecked. Come on, bring it down! We did it! That's it, I think. That's the end of the mission. Wait. Hey! The keep fell to the Norman army, and York was secured. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. Hey, GG! That was a nice, interesting, fun mission. It's like kind of nice and easy to start off with. Yeah, it's good. The Doomsday Book. William won England by the sword and was merciless in replacing the Anglo-Saxon barons with a more loyal no Norman nobility. His harrying of the north killed thousands, but it was a land survey that truly cemented his rule. In 1085, William set out surveyors across England to record the land holdings of everyone in his kingdom. So thorough was the survey. It was said to be as if God was recording the state of the world on Judgment Day. The resulting Doomsday Book became the basis for land rulings for the next eight centuries. Although William's heirs would fall into conflict over the throne, the Doomsday Book would enshrine his people as the ruling class. Let's look at the crossbow video. One weapon more than any other dominated warfare in the Norman period. The How do you. What's a Scouser? <laughs> what's a Scouser sound like in? To, 14th century crossbows like this <laughs> were the culmination of centuries of development. With limbs made of steel, they were incredibly Hang on, powerful. I need to hear the accent before I can do it. But earlier Norman crossbows had limbs made of wood. There was a limit to how powerful these wooden bows could be. So Oof. the idea that Norman crossbows were a powerful weapon is really a myth. Despite this, they were effective at medium range, and that was enough in battle. Drawing the bow repeatedly took a lot of strength. Yeah. Thankfully, oh. help was at hand. A crossbowman spanned his weapon with a device called a belt and claw. This gave him extra leverage, allowing him to use his back and legs to draw the string.
crossbowmen were vulnerable on a battlefield, so they carried large shields called pavises. So they could hunker down behind, load, pop up, shoot, and then duck back down again to reload. Crossbows were accurate, took less training, and used cheaper ammunition than the longbow. Most importantly, you could wait to take your shot, so they were perfect for siege situations. The original cover fire, yeah. To protect crossbowmen when they were defending castles, they used specially built wooden galleries called hoardings. But shooting down towards an approaching enemy presented its own problems. How to stop the bolt from falling off the crossbow before it could be shot? What they did is just place the thumb loosely on the top of the bolt, which is just enough with light pressure to hold it in place. Ooh. Around 1200, the Norman wooden crossbow was superseded by a new design, the composite bow. With limbs made from horn and sinew, they could be made more compact than a wooden bow. And they could deliver up to four times the punch. They were, however, more expensive. So whether on the battlefield or the castle rampart, simple wooden crossbows remained the main weapon of the day. I love the fact that they're adding these documentaries. I'm an Aussie, hands, the Scouse accent cracks me up. Does it now, right. Hi lads, thanks for watching that video. If you want more content, click up here. Or click over here to click on other content. But make sure to click on that middle button to subscribe to the channel. Okay. And I uh, stream every single day on twitch.tv forward slash helping hands. Catch you in the next one, guys. Take care.